Today's video is going to be my experience, all the ins and outs, all the details, the things that people don't really tell you about drama school, all the modules, how you get marked, things like that. And this is just my experience, everyone's is different, but I'm telling you the truth. So here we go, let's get started. So I went to East 15 Acting School and I was on the World Performance course and it was at the South End campus. It's a very unique course and the skills that I've learned from it are so valuable, um, but I'm just gonna tell you what I did learn in first year. This is just first year. I will do another video for second year and another video for third year because every year was so different. My experiences were so different. Um, my life, my social life, all of those sorts of things were different every year. So I thought I'd do three separate videos for you guys so you can see what it's like. Um, and for people who are joining first year, maybe in September, this will just give you a little heads up as to what to expect. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want more content like this. My life now, I've graduated, so I didn't say that. So <laughs> I have graduated now, found out I've got a first, which is so exciting. And I'm in London and I'm just trying to get acting jobs now. So that's me and all these experiences, as I said, are my own, my own opinions, so I don't want any backlash about what I say in this video. So let's get started. I didn't make any notes. I thought I'd just keep it really raw and real and just go off my memory, which might be a good idea, might not. Let's see what happens. Um, I have got quite a good memory, but I probably will miss things out. I will try and remember everything. First year was now, I joined first year in 2018 to 2019 and I was so nervous when I started drama school, let me tell you that. I was terrified uh, but also so excited and in the first week when I arrived we had like taster sessions, oh, there's going to be planes flying over about every five seconds so just ignore that. Um, we had like taster sessions and like, introduction sessions things like that to get to know everyone um, and that was really useful and we didn't really have like a freshers but we had lots of different events so we had um, a 90s disco thing we basically all just went for a night out and they arranged a few little things here and there for us in our first week um i kind of wish there was more just because it was quite daunting at the start but I literally made so many friends in the first week and after the first month I felt like I'd known those people for a lifetime I literally already had a friendship group I already loved all my flatmates we got on so well like I had friends on different courses on my own course and so yeah the first month was just crazy getting to know everybody and then in terms of um, like the academic side and the actual drama school side Going into it straight away was fine. Like, I didn't really know what to expect. I had a mixture of um, practical lessons and theoretical lessons. Someone's now mowing their lawn, just ignore that. Um, this is London, it's just noisy all the time, which is quite different for me. But yes, so we had a mixture of theoretical lessons where we were learning about like the history of theatre and world performance studies as a whole and then we had our practical lessons which were skills lessons so voice articulation movement music and singing and then we had on top of that the more world performance skills my favorite thing about first year actually was the skills classes because we didn't do them in second and third year little heads up for sneak preview for the next two videos and I completely loved doing voice, articulation, movement, music and singing. They were just amazing. Um, on the World Performance course you do a lot of music in first year, so just a heads up, like you do so much music and singing. I loved it. You don't have to have any experience in musical singing, you don't even have to like musical singing, but there is quite a lot. Um, in first year alone, I think I probably learned music from most most of the continents. I had to learn how to change a pop song into a non-Western genre of music. 
which was crazy. I can't believe that I've actually done that. So that was at the end of first year. So we learned all the skills beforehand and then at the end we did that. We turned the song Someone Like You from Adele into Zydeco music, which is found like in a lot of like New Orleans sort of area. It was so hard. We were translating the lyrics, we were changing time signatures, like scales, it, instruments. It was just a crazy experience. So you get to do that project. You also do a country's music project, which I also loved. I did Hawaii, and that was one of my favorite things about my whole experience of drama school. Um, so you're put into small groups, and then you you think of a country, but you can't have any connections to that country, so you can't speak that language already. You can't be from that country, uh, have any family from that country, basically. <laughs> so we had Hawaii in my group, and we had to take a ceremony from that country and from their culture and then turn it into a half an hour presentation in which we did music, singing, dancing and had to include some of the language. So we chose um, a funeral which might sound really dark but actually um, the Hawaiian funeral ceremony was to celebrate life so we had a very emotional song which we ended up putting into our final showcase at the end of third year um, called Mauna Leo and it's literally the most gorgeous song ever. Um, so we did that song, we did a stick dance which was so fast paced and energy. We had this huge um, drum made out of wood um, and we were literally like bashing it. <laughs> we um, learnt a hula dance but that project was so, so, so good. One of my absolute highlights from first year. It, as well in music in first year, you learn how to sing jazz song. It might have all changed out, but this is just my experience, as I said before. Uh, we did a jazz solo, so we had to perform that in front of the rest of the class, and we learned how to use a microphone. And then we did a musical theatre solo, that was at the end of the year, and that one we performed in the theatre, and like anyone could come and watch it, so that was really good fun. And then we did a musical theatre group number, and then we also did two other songs which were more, more like world performance music based and for those ones we learnt the instruments and the singing and they were so hard we were split into like five part harmonies and the instruments were crazy hard but it pushed us all so so much and then we, because we'd learnt the instruments and the singing we could just flip between um, which class did which because we were split into two classes. Um, so I think that was mainly music. We also learned how, like the theory of music, we had a sit down music theory session every week. Uh, so we learned about timing of music, we learned about scales, we learned about genres, and we had to do a music presentation where we picked a song and spoke about it using all the theoretical terms. Um, and I chose Ben Howard because I love him. We did a lot. We learned like warm up songs, we learned how to breathe properly, we learned how to sing properly, we did djembe drumming, we did some samba, I believe. We literally covered so much. So if you like music, you're gonna love first year. Then, as well in first year with voice, we learned how to do breathing properly, speaking properly, we learned all about the anatomy behind voice. Um, we learned how to do different warm-ups, we learned vocal floor bar, which is a really great way of like warming up your voice and preparing per for performance, um, using like yoga positions and things like that. As well in voice, we had to do a political speech, um, which we used all the techniques we learned for that, and that's what we were assessed on. I can't remember what else we were assessed on in voice. Oh, we did Shakespearean sonnets. So we did Shakespearean sonnets and political speeches and I can't remember if we did another thing as well, I'm pretty sure we did over three terms. And then we come to my absolute favourite module of first year, probably my favourite, which was articulation. And I was so excited about this because I love doing accents. In first term of first year we learnt about our own accent and like where it comes from and sort of how to talk about it in technical terms. We learnt about your zone of resonant focus. We learnt about your thinking sound, which is to do with your zone of resonant focus. So if you, I don't want to spill the beans, but if you like say, um, 
then your zone of resonant focus is near the front. If you go like, um, then it's near the back. Like northern people, it's at the back, it's up there somewhere. That's like zone six, I think, basically. <laughs> what else did we do in articulation? We learned a lot about just like where you come from and different things like that. Um, and then from there, we then all learn RP, which is received pronunciation, which is like a really important skill to have as an actor, to be honest. A lot of people want it, so we have to learn it. So we learned that, and then we had to all do the exact same speech. Um, and then in third term, we had to take the RP accent and put it into an actual monologue, um, which was fine, I loved it. Um, and then I also was working on other accents like in my own time just because I love them. And then movement, we started off learning basically just like trusting each other, hand-eye coordination, like being really in physical contact with other people. Um, we had to do this exercise where we like had our eyes shut and we were all just like going around the room with our eyes shut for about an hour. Um, it was very interesting. <laughs> We then went on to do animal studies, which is so fun. Um, you just have to go in for it. Like, don't think about it, just do it. Because <laughs> otherwise you start thinking, what the hell am I doing? I'm pretending to be a dog right now. So just go in it full guns blazing and just have the best time, it's so fun. Um, we did some different skills, like moving sideways, moving up and down, um, learn about all the different motions that you can do. We did a bit of like acrobatic kind of things, like some cartwheels and crawling movements. For first term, we did one session of yoga a week, and then I think in second term, it became less, and then third term, we didn't really do yoga at all. That's just to learn how to be in tune with your body, your body and mind connection. A lot of drama school warm-ups from then on become very yoga-based. A lot of um, directors out there will use yoga practices for warm-ups and it's just really good to be in tune with your body to stretch helps your flexibility I'm still not flexible but it's fine and I actually really love yoga I hadn't done it before drama school and now I absolutely love it I'm not the best but it's something fun to just take your mind off the world and to just really connect with your body which sounds really really cheesy but it's true and what else did I do so the lectures right let's get to the nitty-gritty now we're going to spill the tea because I did not enjoy the lectures. <laughs> I did not want to go to drama school and do lectures, I'm going to be real with you. Um, this was something that I really doubted a lot when I was in first year and almost caused me to leave uh, because I just didn't want to be sat in a lecture room. I was academic before, like I'm an academic person and I loved school so much. But I went to drama school because I wanted to be in the studio creating and performing all the time. But world performance includes lots of lecture classes, which I understand are valuable when you're learning uh, skills from different cultures, religions, countries, all of those things. So it is important to the course, but I just didn't want to be sitting in a lecture room. I wanted to be in the studio like dancing or something. So that was a little bit annoying, but it had to be done. So we did a lot of lectures in first year. We had the music one, like I said, and then we had one with the head of the course and one with the deputy head of the course. And I'm pretty sure that was it. So we had three per week, but that was enough. Right, if you're joining World Performance course, just like mentally prepare yourself that you are gonna have to sit through lectures and you might not be interested in some of the stuff, uh, but it is really important to learn it. We all know that and you do have to write essays. So here's the next thing. <laughs> you have to write essays on this course. You might go to drama school thinking you'll never have to write an essay again, but you are wrong. I had to write several essays on my degree and quite a few of them were towards my degree mark. But in first year, none of your marks actually count, um, but you do have to pass first year so that you can do second year. In first term of first year, we had to do a, a small little essay type thing just to see if we needed help with writing or anything like that then we did I think two or three longer essays which we all got marked on but obviously the marks didn't go towards our degree they're more like practice to see how we get along and um, a lot of them were about god I can't even remember actually at the end of first year my essay was to do with Medea and how she to do with her mothering 
I honestly can't remember what the title was. But as I said, those essays are just sort of to help you out ready for second and third year, just to help your writing skills. If you need any extra help, then that's sort of how you know you need the extra help. As well as all of these things, we also had a practical session, which would have been a double period, so it was like four hours with the head of our course and that was learning his technique that he created called playground theatre which is where you use like tools which are statues and different movement techniques it's all very physical theatre based um, and then how you can create things from that it's hard to explain you kind of have to do it I don't want to say too much if you're going to go on the course because you'll learn all about it but it is a really interesting way of learning how to create performance from nothing from just being in the room um, and it's so fun and you'll do it a few times probably throughout the course but we did it quite a lot in first year which was really fun and then we added like text into it and things like that as well as that you do acting classes in first year which you only actually do in first year um, and we just had one acting class a week I wish we'd had more that was one thing I just wanted more of which was the actual acting but um, we learned other skills as well but the actual acting is something I wish there was more of. And we worked on monologues, duologues, trios. Uh, we learned different warm-ups. We learned the actors' questions, what to do if you get given a script, um, different characters, improvisations, and things like that. And it was really, really fun. I just wish we'd have more of it. And then, as well as all of those things, <laughs> In first term, we did African dance and drumming, which was so fun. Uh, we had four hours a week with a guy called Asu, who still works with the school. He's amazing. And it was so fun. We created a huge show, which we did at the end of first term. And then in second term, oh yeah, in second term, we did capoeira. Was that in first year? Yeah. In, first, in second term, we did capoeira, which is a Brazilian martial art dance performance it's it's a mixture of everything and that was so fun it's quite like you have to do like cartwheels and kicks and stuff but it was so fun a couple of injuries and things like that but you know we move on and it's used in brazil sort of in the streets people will like stand in a big circle and people go in we also did a small project which was for us it was tennessee williams it might change um in the future but we had a Tennessee Williams play and we had to put it into a non-Western form and I actually had Javanese shadow puppetry and we basically made these huge shadow puppets and had a big screen and made a performance um, but in a different style which was really good. We were in small groups for that. There's something that I'm missing and I really can't think of what it is. Oh yeah, Ketchak. So in I think it was second term as well, we did Ketchak which is a Balinese dance drama ensemble performance and it's really hard to explain but just type it in on google it's k-e-c-a-k -E and you'll see exactly what i mean we learned that and we did that with manning who is now i believe head of music at the south end campus and that was really really fun so that was i think in second term alongside capoeira it might have been third term actually and then at the end of third year, uh, at the end of third term, we did a performance. So we were split into three casts and we had different directors each and we were doing a performance. I did the Ramayana and then the other casts did the maids and the government inspector. So we did three shows and that was sort of the big ending to our first year of drama school. So that was a lot of talking, that was the whole degree side of things. Um, I lived in halls in first year which was so much fun. I had literally the best flat ever, we all became such good friends and we just had the best time. We had so many parties and at that time obviously Covid wasn't a thing so we had people coming to our flats all the time. You know, you could just do whatever and it was so much fun. We went for quite a lot of nights out, I definitely went out every single weekend at least because we were in class Monday to Friday, so we didn't really go out in the week. Um, but we'd go out, without a doubt, once a weekend, if not Friday and Saturday. And it was just so much fun. I didn't really make use of, like, 
going out for meals and going to the beach and stuff in first year I basically just went out out or went to like flat parties and that was about it but it was so much fun and I really really miss those like big flat parties and things now they were just hilarious and you just have to really put yourself out there and mix with people if you get invited to a flat party and you don't know anyone just go because or even if you're not invited to be honest you can just go no one's <laughs> no one's gonna question it um but i know that this year it was so different for the first years and i do feel so bad for them because i had such a great first year um you make friends on all different courses and that is like one of the best things it's not like segregated because i've heard a lot of drama schools if you're on one course you stick to your side and other courses stick to their sides it's really not like that east 15 everyone's friends with everyone i've got friends on all of the courses and yeah i think that's the best way because then you've got loads of different things to talk about you haven't all just been in class together um and you're all very different people and um, that is probably the most important thing about drama school is that everyone is so different and so diverse and that's what makes it so much fun you can all bring your own thing to the table you all have different life experiences to talk about different cultures different languages and it's just like conversation just never ends like there's so many different people and it's so exciting all the time and what I'm saying first year is just put yourself out there as much as possible like I definitely try to do that in my social life I think I held back a bit too much in my class in first year I was very like quiet I'd say <laughs> compared to what I was like by the end of third year um but yeah just really push yourself and put yourself out of your comfort zone and try and meet as many people and you'll literally have the best time um put in all the hard work in class too like i had a lot of reading assignments and things and i was up to like 11 o'clock reading then i'd get up at six to read again and that was intense but it's worth it because then you'd get higher marks um or if you get group projects really really like go to those meetings do the group projects and you know you'll just you'll gain more from what you put in and that's what first year is all about is just putting yourself in every situation but yeah that is pretty much my experience of first year and now i'm going to tell you something which i basically touched on very briefly in the middle and i've probably mentioned it in other youtube videos but i nearly did drop out at the end of first year literally like a couple of weeks before the end i just had a little quarter life crisis <laughs> i just wasn't enjoying myself for those few weeks and i just thought I would prefer to be on a different course this wasn't the right course for me and I just had one a massive wobble where I thought what am I doing um, and I went to go speak to my head of course about it and he reassured me but it's difficult because sometimes even like now when I've graduated I know I've graduated but I still sometimes think maybe I should have gone on a different course but you obviously never know and there probably are courses that are more suited to me out there um, at a different drama school maybe, at my own drama school maybe. But I just felt like I couldn't quit because I'm just not a quitter. I had to stick with my guns. I had to stay even though it might not have been perfect. And that's not always the right thing to do. A lot of people did drop out in first year. I think we lost like five or six people in first year. Like quite a lot of people left uh, out of like 40. That's quite a lot. If it's not 100% right for you, don't just give up. If it's like 90 to 100% right for you, stay. But if it's really, really not right for you, you're having the worst time of your life and you've not enjoyed anything, don't stay because you will be wasting your time and you'll also be wasting other people's time, which is something that I really want to touch on because some people did waste my time on my course and it might sound brutal, but people didn't want to be there and they were holding back other people, they were being very negative and just not good people to be around when you're trying to create and perform and that's really difficult. But if you have a little wobble, that's very normal and we actually call it the worldy wobble and I'm pretty sure most people had it, me and all my friends had it, so I think it's just something that happens to a lot of people when you're in a very high pressured situation like drama school, you're very busy and you might just take one bad day as, oh my gosh, what am I doing? This is the worst thing ever. 
um, but try and stick to it. And in my next video when I talk about second year, I will also, again, talk about lots of wobbles and things that I had. Um, but here I am, I've graduated, <laughs> I'm an actress now, I'm in London, and you've just got to keep sticking to it and eventually you will get through and you will learn so much and the skills you will learn will be so valuable. As a person and an actor, you will grow so, so much. So I just wanted to add that at the end because first year is tough. It's so tough. First year was harder than second year for me. It, first year is so intense. And so don't feel like you're the only person that finds it that intense because I think we all did. We were just like, whoa. I'd go home in the holidays and just be like, oh my gosh. That is my first year summed up. I might have missed some modules, some classes, some workshops here and there. I can't remember everything. Um, but that was what came out of my head pretty much. Um, it was a great year, so social, so fun, and lots of hard work was required. If you're joining World Performance, then let me know. I might be able to answer some more like personal questions. You can message me on Instagram, quite a lot of people do actually, or you can comment them down below. Um, but this is an overall summary of what I did in first year. As I said, things will probably change across the years um, because that's just life, it evolves, and drama school courses evolve and change. And that is me over and out. I hope you've enjoyed this video and stay tuned for my second year video, which will come in the next few weeks, probably. I hope you enjoyed, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you then. Bye.